Tomorrow, look, the Aston by election, Melbourne's middle class outer suburbs. Previously, this was the seat that former Liberal Minister Alan Tudge held by a safe margin, around 10%. But it's now ultra marginal after the Morrison factor shaved off pretty much most of that margin. It's now sub 3%. Peter Dutton, this seat is a test, but every by-election is, for the government as well as the opposition. It's just the way politics works. And look, too often I hear far too many commentators read more into some of these races than is really there. Now, is it tight? You bet it is. Both sides throwing everything at this campaign. It's been over 100 years since the opposition has lost a seat to the government in a by-election. So Dutton doesn't want to be the bloke that makes history here, that's for sure. Now, what's telling in the seat is it's a, a place where mortgage costs are biting. Power prices are killing everyday families and those older people on fixed incomes. And what's telling in the detail going into mailboxes is that Labor's not running on its record. There's no mention either of the voice in their campaign. I mean, very squarely, Labor's campaign is full of images like this, mailbox material and billboards that feature Peter Dutton alongside Scott Morrison even my old boss, Tony Abbott, in the background. Someone on this channel said yesterday that the Libs know how negative Dutton is and that's why he's barely campaigned in Aston. And someone said that on Sky. That, that's rubbish. That's rubbish. That commentator hasn't done their homework. I don't think they've had much to do with campaigns either. Dutton's been out in the seat five times. It'll be six tomorrow since Tudge resigned. Well, the Prime Minister's only been there four times. Later in the show, I'll speak with the Liberal candidate, Rashina Campbell. Now, I'm a hard marker when it comes to candidates. I've seen some good ones, seen some, uh, some of the worst, I have to say. I've watched her efforts on social media. It's clear she's leaving nothing in the tank in her quest to keep the seat Liberal. I'm keen to know from her the issues on the ground that people are raising. I mean, is it, is it the Canberra sort of line or is it much more home and half? I want to get a mood, a sense of the mood ahead of tomorrow's vote. This afternoon, though, some interesting claims about Mary Doyle, Labor's Aston candidate. They were reported by the Age newspaper. There's a cloud over her official documents, it says, submitted to the Australian Electoral Commission. In particular, the vexed question of eligibility and citizenship around Section 44. As the journalist, Age journalist Brodie Carmody reports, Labor's Aston candidate, Mary Doyle, may have filled out her pre-election documents incorrectly, not once, but twice. All very interesting, isn't it? Because... Uh, Aston will go down to the wire.